Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today I got in store another pack of Magic the Gathering, another older pack. This is from the set Judgment. This is 15 additional cards. It says Expert level on it, back when they used to have the different leveling, the Expert, Advanced, and Starter. And when did this pack come out? Let's just go ahead and see the information. It says Premium cards, odds are 1 in 70. Interesting, the odds are better in this set. Uh, and they came out in 2002. I opened up an Odyssey pack and a couple others, and I believe it was one in a hundred is the premium card. So here, I have a better chance of getting a four-ling. Interesting. Looks like an interesting cat beaver creature with really long fingernails on front. Very white skin. Quite scary. So let's go ahead and open this up. Interesting silver packaging. This one feels kind of loose, the pack, but I think that's probably just the packaging. I don't have another one to compare it to. Wizards of the Coast. Wizards.com. Richard Garfield, I'm sure. Anyways, let's open this up. I remember this pack from when I was younger. Yep, got the set symbol of like this balancing scales. Very interesting, beautiful art. Got flaring pain. Look at that, you get the gravestone in the corner letting you know that it has flashback. I love cards with flashback, so much fun. And I love how they used to have the ability in the corner let you know right away next to the name that you could activate it from your grave. Wish they brought that back. When in a red instant, damage can't be prevented this turn and has flashback for one. So you may play this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost, then remove it from the game. I don't rub salt in wounds, I use sulfur. Brutal, look at this guy. Not sure what's happening, looks like uh, some metal or something is just getting metaled onto him. He's like getting poured onto him, it's just melting his skin, looks like it's burning him away. Looks like mercury or gallium or liquid something. Wild, just burning in pain. And look at the set symbol over there, it looks like the balancing scales for like judgment. And it's an instant with flashback, how cool is that? This is drawn by, drawn by Glenn Angus. Wow, these feel quite thick, these ones. Very nice. You got tainted pronghorned, or trained pronghorned. Sorry about that. Looks like some sort of elk creature or caribou jumping over a fence. You got this lady saying, all right, now jump here, jump there. Or maybe she's getting scared by it. Interesting bells on its collar. Its tongue is sticking out. Hope the collar's not choking it. You got the horns. You got a little bit of the purple mountains in the background. And just a nice clear sky. It's a creature antelope. That's what it is. It's an antelope. One and a white. It's a one. One. Discard a card from your hand. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to trained proghorn this turn. So discard a card. And this guy's pretty much uh, can't be dealt damage that turn. How fun. Jumping over the fence. Yeah, I guess you discard a card and prevent the damage. It just completely scared her away from doing damage. This is drawn by John Matson. Not sure what that is. Is it like a piece of dirt or a coin? Look at this interesting guy. It's like a frog creature. With like spikes coming off of it. It's a a new a new rid, a bark ripper. It looks like he's ripping up bark because he has nothing better to do. Very spiky back. Probably doesn't have many friends. It doesn't look very approachable. One and two green creature breast with threshold. It gets plus two plus two as long as you have seven or more cards in your graveyard. When it croaks, so do you. It's a two two. Yeah, it does look like some sort of frog creature with a big head. Just ripping up bark. I wonder if it's eating it. Very spiky. Wild. This is drawn by Randy uh, Galios. I gotta keep watch. This is two and a blue. Very interesting, beautiful colors. Some purples and blues. Interesting oranges and yellows in the like circle sphere there. I'm not sure if he's looking in some sort of mirror on the wall or sphere on the wall. And seeing what's going on in the battlefield. Looks like a war is going on. And they're fighting or maybe the war is over. The sun's setting in the battle and this person's just watching from their eye. And weird tentacle body in their cloak and their tentacles are sticking out. Lovely, lovely art by Fred Ramquist. Not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, yeah, this is an instant draw card for each attacking creature. Wow, so if you attack with a bunch of creatures, draw that many cards. How cool is that? Lovely art on this, by the way. Lovely colors. Next card I got is a Phantom Nomad. This guy's just wandering around the desert till he finds his place. Probably never, because nomads don't tend to settle down. Uh, looks like the desert. The ground looks cracked from not having any water. Dark skies about to storm. A little bit of blue peeking out in the background. Interesting ghost-like apparition with the, ta like the tattered cloths all over him. One in a white. Creature Nomad Spirit. It's a zero zero. Um, yep, it's drawn by Jim Nielsen. When it comes into play, uh, Phantom Nomad comes into play with two 1-1 one, one counters on it, so it comes in as a 2-2. Two, two. If damage would be dealt to Nomad, prevent uh, damage, remove a 1-1 one, one counter from Phantom Nomad. So if it's dealt damage, make it a 1-1. One, one. If it's dealt damage again, 
it's gone. If you could put extra counters on it, you can prolong his life. Interesting. These cards definitely feel very thick. Love the quality. Love the quality. Just beautiful. Everything's printed and looks brilliant. This is Avian Fogbringer. He's bringing the fog. Not sure what he's doing. He has like a wand in his hand. He's just making some mist. Almost looks like a pumpkin face on his belly. Got his beak and his feathers. Lice blues and a little bit of purple on his cloak. Three and a blue. Creature Bird Wizard. It's a 2-1 with flying. When Avian Fogbringer comes into play, return target land to its owner's hand. So you can either bounce back your land or bounce back another opponent's land. Cool. Make them get down a couple mana or a mana. Awesome. And this is drawn by Edward P. Beard Jr. I cover the land with blankets and it sleeps. <laughs> Return the land. Awesome. This one is Funeral Prite. Not sure, but it looks like the soul is leaving this guy's body. He died in the battlefield. He's on some sort of stretcher and something is rising above him. It's got wings, almost angelic looking like. And uh, yeah, one white drawn by Carl. Critchelow, remove target card in a graveyard from the game. Its owner puts a 1-1 white spirit creature token with flying into play. It's an instant, so remove a card from the game from a graveyard, wherever, whatever graveyard, yours or your opponent's, and then put a 1-1 white spirit creature token into play uh, for whoever's graveyard. Well, if you if you did it to one of your opponent's cards, they put a 1-1 white spirit creature token into play. If you did it to your graveyard, you put that into play. And the art represents that beautifully. You remove this guy from the graveyard and make a spirit. Next card I got is Ember Shot. Beautiful reds and oranges on this. Looks like a magma is just like exploding. A piece of projectile is about to come right at this guy. He has really gray hair. Really white hair almost. Beautiful uh, reds and oranges. This is six and a red. Instant Ember Shot. Deals three damage to target creature or player. And draw a card. Simple. This is drawn by Alan Pollock. Kind of expensive, but three deals three damage to creature or player. And card draw. Look at this. This is... Crazy, look at this art, beautiful. Looks like in some sort of crypt, they lifted up the floorboard and a whole bunch of rats are sticking out there with their pink hairless tails. Absolutely wild, looking at the sunlight. Oh, they're like, haven't seen sun since my whole life. Rats feast, X in a black. Remove X target cards in a single graveyard from the game. That does it, I quit. The grave robbers, this is, I love this art. This is beautiful. This is drawn by Bob uh, Petalo. Awesome, look at that art. The sunlight, the shading. Everything, just the feel of it, just lovely. Next card I got, let's go ahead and set these out a little bit better, is Grip of Amnesty. Uh, oh, Amnesia. One in a blue, instant counter target spell unless his controller removes his or her graveyard from the game. Draw a card, what an interesting thing. Um, you either counter a spell, and if they decide to keep their graveyard, they keep it. If not, they remove their graveyard and they don't counter it. But you get to draw a card regardless. What an interesting kind of choice. There's like blue hands coming out of some sort of portal with like green, looks like celery growing from him. So he's picking celery. Looks like he has a ring on his finger. He is a married man or woman. But interesting card, counter a spell unless they exile their graveyard. And if they don't, you just make them exile their graveyard. So pretty cool for graveyard hate. And you draw a card, fun. This is drawn by Bradley Williams. The next card I got is Swirling Sandstorm. Three and a red. Looks like they're in the desert holding their war banners and their big axes and the sandstorm just coming in and probably hurts their skin. Three in a red by Tony Sezuldo. Uh, threshold, a uh, swirling sandstorm deals five damage to each creature without flying. So you can only play this with threshold or I guess you could play it without it, but it literally would do nothing. So you have to have seven more cards in your graveyard, and it deals five damage to each creature without flying, because flyers can obviously fly up in the sky where it looks nice and safe, but kind of cloudy. Ooh, this is a lovely card. Cabal Therapy. Oh, I forgot that it was in this set. Absolutely fabulous. Look at the art. Definitely by Ron Spencer. Great card. Put in a dredge deck. you got the Gravestone in the corner. Cabal Therapy. One black. Name a non-land card. Target player reveals his or her hand. Discards from it. All cards with that name. So whatever card you want that's not land, say, I want to look for Swirling Sandstorm. They have to reveal their hand, and if they have a card with Swirling Sandstorms in it, they discard it. And you flashback this card uh, by sacrificing a creature. So interesting flashback cost. Uh, you sacrifice a creature, and you can play it again. So pretty much pay one black, reveal their hand, and if they don't have Swirling Sandstorms, but they had like three Rats Feasts, you can sacrifice a creature, the name Rats Feasts, and go back and remove them from his hand or her hand. Lovely art, by the way. It's like some interesting creature. There's like a guy in some sort of 
chains it looks like and there's just lightning and energy coming out through him absolutely wild brutal looks extremely painful by ron spencer one of my favorite artists from magic the gathering so happy i pulled this card awesome next card i got is a la quits la quatas uh disdain i'm not sure how to pronounce that but that's all right it is one and a blue looks like he's countering a spell but he's so busy and he's so powerful he doesn't even have to look he's reading his paper and still countering this other wizard in the background I'm sure, making fun of him. Contra target spell played from a graveyard. Draw a card. A lot of graveyard abilities, and it makes you want to counter it. So, like, if you tried to flashback this card, you could just counter it without even looking. So you get counter it and draw a card. Uh, Pete Ventures. The first time was amusing, but now you're getting tiresome. Exactly. So it's pretty much for flashback in this set. Pretty much counter a flashback. How fun is that? <laughs> Beautiful. Next card I got is a card with... Uh, some ability with the graveyard. Valor. Three and a white. It is an incarnation, a creature. It's a 2-2. Two, two. As long as Valor is in your graveyard and you control the planes, creatures you control have first strike. How cool is that? So sometimes you want to have this card in your graveyard and give all your creatures first strike. That is so cool. First strike is an amazing ability. Deals combat damage before uh, the first, I guess, combat damage phase. How awesome is that? First strike. And an interesting kind of sand guy in the background kind of cloudy looking sky and he's got a pike hard to tell if he's got one eye or not wild and then the rare card i got is glory it looks like it has a graveyard ability three and two white creature incarnation again it's a three three with flying two and a white creatures you control gain protection from the color of your choice until end of turn play this ability only if uh glory is in your graveyard how wild is that so this hangs out in your graveyard. You kind of want it there. And then if someone tries to shock your creature, pay two and a white and say protection from red. And then all your creatures are protected from red. Beautiful. Looks like some sort of angelic mirrorful creature. Hard to tell. Flying in the sky. Interesting landscape in the background. Kind of on a little slanted angle. I like it. And they have a big staff with some red ribbon on it. Beautiful. This is drawn by uh, Danto Goncola. Absolutely lovely. Got the rare symbol in the corner. An incarnation. Lovely set, so happy I pulled Cabal Therapy, One, a great card, and by my favorite artist of Magic the Gathering. Anyways, thank you all for stopping by, hope you enjoy uh, the, looking at these older pack openings with me, I know I enjoy doing it, let me know if you played with this set when it came out, and yeah, thanks for stopping by, have a wonderful day, and keep on keeping on.